technology comes from the reverse engineering out of the spacecraft. It is still functional and is still in operation. So it's, uh, it's pretty important what this thing is. All the nations worldwide are up there with the United Nations and they're all acting, you know, working together. Point is that we're not alone out here in this universe. The reason I bring this up is if no one ever went to war over a math problem amongst humans, don't you think it would also be logical that we wouldn't go to war with E.T. when he shows up? And if E.T. does show up, what are we going to do? Babble? Start a war between a different pl another planet because of miscommunications? No, we need a communication base that is so mathematically certified, both frontwards and backwards, that when we say something, it means exactly what we say, so that there is no subjective interpretation, translation. So it's very important for us to be correct 100% of the time when we're dealing with ET. Otherwise, they're going to throw a rock at us like they did 375 million years ago at the Yucatan Peninsula and get rid of the, the uh, dinosaurs, which you all know about. So we don't, want to, we don't want to have rocks thrown at us. So, let's, uh, so the, the planet, all the governments of the planet are looking at this math interface as being a correct way to communicate stop wars on planet Earth as well as communicate with ET when they show up. And as you, many of you who do the research and get on the internet know that there's probably a lot of different ETs already influencing this planet with all of our little toys that we have, our cell phones and computers and TVs. So it is relevant. The school systems in China are adapting our quantum program. All the universities and colleges are going to be teaching it this year. As a result of these patents that came out from my 23 days in China, they realized that they were going to order all 150 trade partners to, to follow suit. Otherwise, they wouldn't be able to do business with China. The biggest new thing that's coming on the market is the word lithium. Lithium makes for the batteries. Now, China currently controls 80% of the lithium on planet Earth. 20%, the other 20% was known to be in Mount Weld in Australia, better known as the Linus, Linus Mind. It's a one cubic mile of, of lithium that they've uncovered. Uh, Columbia, three years ago, somebody wanted to find out how big the salt flats were. So they drilled down 47 meters, uh, excuse me, 15 meters into the salt and they found a 25 square mile lithium, a pure lithium bed of lithium. Enough lithium for the next 200 years to build about 600 billion automobile batteries. Yeah. So now if you add thorium to lithium, you can get eight times more power out of the same, same size battery. Think of an ordinary car battery made out of lithium thorium that would have the power to generate a, drive a car 400 miles with a four minute recharge, that's all. Now, that's technology. I know battery technology. I built my first perpetual motion motor when I was 16 years old, my first laser beam when I was 12. I've been on the cutting edge of weird, futuristic stuff ever since I was a little kid. And if you do enough research on me, you're gonna find out that I was taken when I was eight years old. I went into a UFO for three and a half hours, they put a machine on top of my head, and whatever they, they did to me, they put all this information into my head and why I've been able to build this program without any interruptions from anybody for the last 32 years. And uh, I fielded over 100,000 questions at seminars, and uh, I haven't missed any. So you cook up the best question you can think of, and I'll tell you the facts. I'll tell you the facts going all the way back 8,500 years and how it's going to influence all the cross-referencing with it. People go like, that's impossible. You can't know that kind of information. This is, ask me the question. We'll find out. Now, I did a seminar in uh, Bellingham, Washington. I had 86 people in, in the audience, and I told everyone, I says, I'm going to answer all your questions today. And one gentleman on, the left, on my right side here, he goes, stands up. He was about 75 years old. He says, that's a pretty bold statement. He says, you don't know what kind of questions we're going to ask. So how can you, how can you say you know, know all of our answers? 
I said, tell you what, you be the official question counter. I says, and you count how many questions I'm going to answer in the next two days. So he went ahead and he, he counted, and at the end of 5 o'clock on Sunday, he stands up and he says, well, that was impressive. You answered 125 questions successfully, including history, and I agreed with every answer you gave. And he says, I got, two I got two more questions. He says, who is God? He says, well, that's probably the easiest question I've been asked since, since, I, got, since I started this. Now, remember I said at the beginning of this seminar, what is a thought? Hold a thought in your hand. A thought is not of this world. Okay, everyone in this room studies this word God. Matter of fact, we have 5,000 different sounds of words for the word God. It's a very unique word. Now, you also, when you study God, you also study the devil, what evil is. So you have to, it's called perspective. You have to know what's good and you have to know what's bad. So you have an understanding of what choice is. Now, because you have choice, you can choose to be a good person or a bad person. Now, everyone in this room, you will read different books at different ages, at different times. You will talk to different people, your brothers, your sisters, your parents, your ministers at the, school, at, at, at the church, uh, teachers. And all through life, you accumulate information. The end result is we all have a thousand separate definitions that we have accumulated to answer one word. So, and that word... God, because you all have a thousand different sources of, of, of research to answer that one word, now says that God has created man's image. Image, imagination, creation, art. So each one of you formulates your own definition based on your own subjective interpretation of your own educational capacity, your own IQ. IQ is based on the amount of percentage of your brain activity that you use for thinking to come to a conclusion, to stand in front of a mirror, look at yourself and say, I know who God is, based on these definitions. And no one, I don't care who you are, can tell you who your God is because they weren't there for your thousand points of study. And everyone in this room has a different thousand points of study and answer the same word. And you also have a thousand points of study to answer the, the bad things. What is evil? What is wrong? What is a lie? It's called perspective. So we all choose to be good. We all choose to be correct. And we all choose to stand in front of a mirror and look at yourself and say, I know who God is. And I believe in that person. Or I believe in that entity. And that's the definition of what, who God was. And everyone in the audience applauded. Because who is it? It's your own subjective interpretation of what you understand that word to mean based on your ability to look yourself in the eye and say, I accept this to be the fact. And that's as simple as it gets. He says, okay, he says we all agree that that's the definition. He's got one more word for you. What do you know about women? And I says, absolutely nothing. <laughs> he says, see, you can't answer every question. And 38 women stood up and said, that's the right answer. And all of them... <laughs> And, and all the men in the audience applauded. <laughs> We're going to go through a sentence structure now. first part of a sentence, we use the word for. If you look at my website, it's 400 pages long. Every sentence starts with the word for as the preposition. We use the as a neutral article. You have, when it comes to articles, or what we call lodio, we'll put a square bracket because this means no contract. You have a and the, this, these. Those are the five that I use in, uh, in my program. Pretty simple, it seems how you have 
you have 38 articles and we only use five. Second part is there's a consequ 